Hello, this is Alexey. I continue to publish video tutorials and reviews. If this video will be useful to you, please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button under this video. In this way you will help other users to find necessary information and my channel will be run better. All links from the video can be found in the description below. In previous free video tutorials we created website on Joomla from scratch. We used only free extensions. The result was a business website which was uploaded to the hosting. The previously recorded video tutorials for Joomla 4 are almost completely relevant for the current version of Joomla 5.1. The information from this video tutorial remain relevant for Joomla 4 as well. At least this is true on July 13, 2024. In this video tutorial we'll talk about workflows. Workflows is a free component built into Joomla designed to simplify and systemize the multi-step preparation of articles for publication by publishing teams. This component will be useful not only for large information websites but also for single authors. For example, you can create an article and start writing notes. It is logical to place this article at the writing stage. When the article is in some finished form, you can move it to the reading stage, then the stage optimization, audit and so on. There can be as many stages as you like and they can be named as you need. At the same time, the article can move from stage to stage in different directions. For example, at the optimization stage it might turn out that some link, picture and so on are missing and the article will return to the previous stage – writing. In this video tutorial we will look at one example. In my example the article goes through the following stages – writing – this is a process for authors, Reading – this is a process for characters. Optimization – this is a process for SEO specialists. Audit – this is a process for the owner of the website. And publication – at this stage the article is published. By default, workflows component is disabled. You won't see it here, but you need go to Options, Integration and enable workflow. You already can see some changes and you can see workflows here. This is examples by default, but first we need to create users. How to work with users you can learn from my previous video tutorial. I will create first user owner, I will assign it to super users. Also, if you want that users from the workflows accept messages to their mail, enable this option. Now I will create author, corrector and SEO specialist user. As you can see I create author in author user group, corrector in editor user group, SEO specialist in publisher user group. About user groups you can also learn from my previous video tutorial. As I mentioned before, if you want the users from the workflow receive some messages, go to System, Plugins, here select type Workflow and in the workflow notification for the option Allowed extensions enable Articles – Articles. The notifications will be sent to email and here in message. And now let's go to Content Workflows and create new workflow. I will name it Article Preparation. If I set it by default it will be applied to all Joomla article categories that applies workflows by default. But for now I won't do that, just save and close and let's create several stages. By default we have one stage, we will rename it. We can use language overrides 
if you have multi-language website, you can use language overrides for multi-language purpose. About multi-language and language overrides you can learn from my previous video tutorials. In my case, I have one language on the side, so I just call it writing. Nothing here need to be changed. And now I will create new process called reading and so on. As you can see, I create optimization, audit and publication stages. Now let's create transitions. First transition we'll call to reading. The current stage for this transition will be writing and the next is reading. Here you can select stages, add some nodes, just save it. On the transition action we won't change anything here, but for this transition we can set the article as featured and change it published state. About featuring state of the article and publishing state you can learn from my previous video tutorial. In notification we can enable send notification for this transition, add some custom text or not. Also, we can select user groups or users that will receive this message. In my case, I just select corrector and go to the next transition. It will call to optimization. We'll go from the reading to optimization. Here I won't change anything and here I will select SEO specialist. The next transition will be to audit. It will go from optimization to audit. The notification will be sent to owner. And the next stage we, I will call publication. It will go from audit to publication and here in published state we can we need to select published after this transition our article will be published also here we can select sell specialist that will receive our message and check the article one more time now let assign our workflow article preparation to category how to work with categories we, you can learn from my previous video tutorial. Here in the block category we can see new top workflow and here we need to select article preparation. In my previous video tutorial we already work with menus. Also we have created the menu item that's allowed to create articles from the front end. Let's add this menu item once more. Create article. I will call it like this. I will show this menu item just for special users. If I save my item and update Nothing has changed here, but as you can see, we've got it published. And before start testing our changes, let's go to content, articles, options and go to permission tabs. Here for author we need to check that create is allowed. Also we need to check execute transactions is also allowed. Without this, author won't be able to change article workflow stages. Also, we need to check this option for editors, publishers and of course super users allow to do this. Just save changes and let's see how it works. For example, we have login form our author enter his login and password and he can see create article. How to work with this component and these options you can learn from my previous video tutorial. For example, he writes some text, adds some 
description, maybe fill some custom Joomla fields about them you can learn from my previous video tutorial. Also, he need to choose category. In our case, it block category. He just saved the article and if the article is finished, he can go to publishing and select from rock floor stage to reading. He just save the article and he can leave from the site. As I mentioned before, here in users, messaging, private message, author can see new message. This, uh, this message was sent from author to the next user, corrector. Also, this message was sent to the email of the existing user. So, let's go here, login, corrector, enter his data, go to blog, he can see this article, he can change it, or he can decide not to change it in any case. After the job is done, he goes to publishing workflow stage and change it to optimization. As you can see, we won't see any article here. Why? Because here in articles it not published, but we can see it here. For example, SEO specialist can go to the Joomla admin panel, go to the article, check it and change the stage to audit. He can save this article and now, after all stages almost complete, for example, our owner can go here to the admin panel, check everything here and change the workflow stage to publish. Just save and close and now we can see the status of this article was changed. Update the page here and we can see our article is published. As you can see here in admin panel you can see new information, stages, you can filter by stages also in a batch operation. You can change stages to several articles at once. I hope this and other Joomla video tutorials have helped you with this CMS. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, this is Alexey, see you soon in new tutorials.